So Silent Hill 2 just got its first major update, patch 1.04. The patch notes state many technical fixes and improvements. I will be going over what I can in this video, starting with DLSS. This patch updated DLSS to the latest version, going from version 3.5 to version 3.7, which is supposed to reduce visual glitches when using DLSS. I presume it's mostly ghosting on leaves, but from my very brief testing, I wasn't able to tell the difference. This patch also updated FSR from version 3.0 to the latest version 3.1, and from what I could tell, it definitely looks better than the older version of FSR, but it still doesn't hold up to DLSS. The difference in image quality is still quite stark in my opinion. I mostly noticed better stability in motion in comparison to the previous FSR 3.0, but you will just have to take my word for it. However, DLSS is still clearly the better option. They have also added a new advanced setting called Scene Occlusion. Previously, it defaulted to using the Occlusion Queries option. Now, in addition to that, we have the option to disable it or use the HZB option. And from what I understood, it doesn't make a difference to image quality, just what hardware is utilized to control this technique, with each setting favoring the CPU or GPU primarily. But none of these options seem to make any difference to performance in my brief testing. I recommend sticking to occlusion queries as the description suggests, unless you see a difference. This update also brought with it NVIDIA and AMD frame generation, but they can only be used in conjunction with their respective upscalers. You can't mix and match, which is a real letdown since FSR 3.1 frame generation can be used by itself in other games. I don't know why it's not the case here. Just a note that my GPU doesn't support NVIDIA frame generation, which is why I wasn't able to test it. As for performance, AMD frame generation is a real letdown. FPS only increased by 50% at best, instead of the usual 80 to 90%. What's even worse is that now the stutters became even more noticeable. In fact, they can completely halt the game to 1 FPS, as shown in this test. Avoid AMD frame generation at all costs, and mod it in if you're really desperate, as this is one of the worst official implementations yet. Now let's get into the performance. Starting with the game's frame rates, using my optimized settings, the general performance of the game, which is very GPU limited, doesn't seem to improve with this patch. The frame rates are still within the margin of error. I also tested ray tracing performance, and the results are exactly the same. Now for the most important test that I know you've been waiting for, the traversal stutter. Did it improve or not with this update? Well, I have tested this setting with higher frame rates to stress the CPU even further, to showcase the stutters easier. And, as you can see, the game still stutters in the exact same spots with the same severity as before. Unfortunately, there is no improvement whatsoever. Make sure to subscribe to never miss coverage of future patches for your favorite games. And I will see you in the next video.